What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Whole Views. Thank you for clicking that thumbnail. My name is Corey, and today we're going to be talking about the Vince Staples Show. So I'm not at all familiar with Vince Staples as an artist. I actually discovered Vince Staples by just browsing through Twitter and seeing these hilarious interviews that he would do, seeing these podcast appearances that he would make. Like, the man is incredibly funny. And it's funny because his sense of humor is incredibly dry. And you can't necessarily always tell if he's being serious or he's playing a character. But I loved all the little clips that I've seen from him online. Some of the people in my friend group really like his comedy as well, but they also like his music much more, you know, than I have because I've never really discovered it on my own. And when they speak about Vince, they always say like, yo, he's super real. Uh, something that you don't necessarily find in today's musical landscape. And so I ran across different clips that attest to his realness. People don't know the shit you got to do to get at least right here. Mm -hmm. With no backing, no support, no friends, no entourage, no name to put in front of yours. You know, everybody got their little crew of niggas. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had none of those things. I had to be Earl Hype Man and fold his clothes for two years. Make sure you got in the Sprinter on time and not do no songs. Mm -hmm. But $500 a week party. Mm -hmm. You know how much a one bedroom is in, in Long Beach? $950 mm -hmm. in the hood. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Couldn't even afford that. After that, we opened up for, for Mac Miller just to be there, um, sharing a room with the security guard, performing when the door is open, 15 minutes. Mm. Then Q led me on this tour. Didn't know what I was doing. Gave me a decent slot going before I was ever shot after audio push. Mm. Music not translating. Didn't know how to make it. Never met anybody who would tell me anything. He told me, your songs are too slow. First mm. person to ever try to help me. Wow. Besides, mm. like, that's not my friend. Your friend is going to support you because they're your friend. Mm -hmm. First person to ever give me some advice, that's going to work. After that, we opened up for Joy Badass. Mm. Then we went on a festival run playing at 2 p.m. when the doors open at 12. Who can do that for 10 years if they not all in? It's sound bites like that one combined with the clips that I saw from him just doing interviews and just discussing different topics. And those Abbott Elementary appearances in season two just made me into a fan of Vince. So when I heard about the show, I was incredibly excited and I said, I'm definitely going to be checking this out. I put a reminder on my Netflix, and when it came out, I watched the entire show in two sittings. I think that it is in the great category on my scale, damn near perfection. The episodes in this season are very short and digestible. Most of the episodes, not all, but most of the episodes are incredibly funny and accessible to not just black people. I believe that there's something here for everyone, which bleeds into my third point, and the biggest point is that it's Easter eggs in its homage to so many different things, whether it's pop culture or film, it's just a lot to be taken in each time you take a look at one of these episodes. The best way I can describe watching the show is that it felt like watching a sketch comedy show or watching an anthology show where each episode was basically standalone. But if you really track closely, you can catch how all of them are tied together and displayed in a chronological order like they're displayed. This is a non-spoiler video, so I won't specifically name the stuff that I'm talking about. But if you watch the entire little run, it's only five episodes and none of them are longer than 30 minutes. But if you watch that final episode, it gives you like a callback to previous things that happened earlier in the little season. So I thought it was really cool the way that if you pay close attention, things will be paid off and, and things will be linked. And I like that. I'm incredibly happy with the Vince Stable show. I think that it was a great piece of television and I'm really hoping that we get at least two more of these. It was called a limited series, which most of the time implies like one season. I'm hoping for the sake of Vince, that we can get at least two more of these. Like these are really nice little five episode things. Can we get eight like this and just give you another collection of wild events from the life of Vince Staples? It would be great if we did so. Also, I would just like to see him expand and get a little bit more of a budget to where we could see his take or his renditions of some of these real world characters. Because when you watch it, there's there's a lot of things that are in real life that we see pop up here. And it just it's just great. And I want to see his vision for those things. You know, just open up the playbook for him. Just at least two more times. That would be good, in my opinion. But let me know what you think about the Vince Staples show. I, you know, it's a real easy watch. So check it out if you haven't so far. And let me know what you think about it. And that's all we got for this one, y'all. Enjoy yourself. Guard your heart. Go watch something good.